Hi, my name is Jennifer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify a radical that contains a negative number. So grab a pencil and some paper and work through these examples with me. Take a look at this first example. We have the cubed root of negative 24. Now usually, if you see a negative sign underneath a radical, it's usually undefined. If the exponent is an odd number, you can actually solve this problem even with a negative sign underneath the radical. However, if the exponent on the outside of the radical is even, that problem would be undefined. So, since we have a 3 as our exponent on the outside of the radical, let's go ahead and solve this problem. We will take our negative 24 and we're going to go ahead and make a factor tree. 6 times 4, and then we can break 6 to 2 times 3, and then we can break down 4 to 2 times 2. Because this is a cubed root, we're looking for groups of 3 on our bottom line. Notice that we have three twos. Or in other words, we have trip, a set of triplet twos. Okay? So we're going to eventually put this two on the outside of our radical. But we need to remember that this was a negative 24. And in order for the problem to be negative, we have to multiply by a negative number. So in a situation like this, we need to make either our three negative or all of our twos have to be negative. Because we can't leave a negative number under the radical symbol, we need to make our twos negative. And so to write this answer, we'll put our negative two on the outside. That represents our set of triplets over here. And we'll put our cubed radical and we'll put our 3 on the inside of the radical. So the simplified answer is negative 2 cube roots of 3. OK, let's take a look at another example. This is the cubed root of negative 54. Let's first bring 54, negative 54, over here to the side and make a factor tree. 9 times 6. And then 9 is 3 times 3, and 6 is 3 times 2. Okay, Because this is a cubed root, we're looking for groups of 3. And we actually have three threes. But this was a negative 54. And to get a negative 54, one number has to be positive and the other negative. So we could either have negative 3's or a negative 2. But we can't have a negative 2 because that would still stay underneath the radical. So we're going to put the negative sign with the 3's. So we'll put the negative 3 on the outside, which represents our set of 3. We'll draw our cubed root, and we'll put the 2 on the inside. So the answer to this problem is negative 3 cubed root of 2. Now if you have any other questions about this topic, please contact your professor, or stop by the math tutoring lab, or watch this video again.